smart thing comparing to five years of rapid. And this is the main statement that we are talking about. It's not what about the choice whether the criminal should choose whether he should be punished uh, strongly or weakly. But justice should be there on these people, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't mean that you committed the stronger crime and you can choose the weaker judgment on you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have two rebuttals against the government side and I will talk about my argument. Uh, firstly, the, the government side has come up and say that oh, we'll give them what, what to choose, what do they want. But ladies and gentlemen, these criminals abuse the other people already. They have raped someone. They have taken the pure, um, I mean, the the purity and all the teenage like group that they can choose whether to have kids at when uh, they can choose whether to have kids at what age and all that. And these rapists destroy their dreams and their goals already. So and these these. Uh, victims cannot choose whether she should be destroyed or what, just like they have said. So why are we giving them the choice why the victims don't have any choice at all, ladies and gentlemen? And second short story is no. They said that there must be a stronger punishment for these people, ladies and gentlemen. My answer is there is no stronger punishment on these people because the laws have stated already that there is going to be jail for these people to enter. But what do we see here? They say that 10 years, 20% of rapists are, are increasing. Why there is still law to keep these people in jail after everything? That means this punishment that they are stating is not working, ladies and gentlemen. And we see here that the manhood of the person will be taken away. It's like almost the same as killing a man, ladies and gentlemen. And this is my information. Yes. Before you speak, we were talking about the killing the person who has a rape. Ra then it's the same. He killed someone, that's why he's being killed. We do not meant to take lives, ladies and gentlemen. We want to take their desire away so that they don't have to rape anymore. But that doesn't mean that he could become a successful businessman. But we are not going to let him break anyone to destroy the woman's will, ladies and gentlemen. And five years of jail would have not changed any perspective on looking at they want to have sex, ladies and gentlemen. Even though five years of abandoning sex, they still have all these hormones occurring inside of them. And they would have the desire to want more to be satisfied with their minds, ladies and gentlemen. So, this year we are proposing that this punishment will solve the problem once and for all. And this means that we, the opposition side, will suggest that we would give them no choice in choosing whether to have castration or other solution because we believe that this is the solution to the problem once and for all. No thank you. Now, Moving on to my argument, I have one argument to make about justice among the societies. Why my deputy will speak about the um, solution to the problem overall and the alternative benefits of using aspiration without any choice. Now, moving on to my first argument. Ladies and gentlemen, Ten years been passed, just like they have said, and 20% of rapists are increasing. Why? We are trying to put them in jail, but it doesn't work. And this woman suffers from the men who are trying to abuse them directly through sexual unwanted activities, ladies and gentlemen. So, we should not propose any choice for these men who abuse the choice of these women already, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. But don't you think that you said 
the only one that we are killing them. Don't you think that forcefully killing them? You're giving them a choice. Ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, my deputy will answer that POI. Um, moving on about my arguments. Now then, if, if we all have um, the decide, but we still have our mind whether we should do it or not, and this means that we have the justified agreement between each other whether we should have these sexual activities or not. But these rapists are breaking that law, ladies and gentlemen. They are breaking the justification between women and men. They are trying to take over these women as that they are looking at them as like the fulfillment for them only. But they do not look at the pers perspective of these women, ladies and gentlemen. Now, should all these people who break the mind of the woman deserve lower punishment in killing someone mentally? No, ladies and gentlemen. All these criminals should deserve castration because they have abused these innocent people already, ladies and gentlemen. And they have also abused the human rights of choice for these women, ladies and gentlemen. The women, just like the POI and the opening speech, ladies and gentlemen, they don't have any choice to choose whether the rapists choose rape them or not. No woman asks any rapists to rape them, ladies and gentlemen. That's the actual fact that the government has stated to. So, by these statements and all these arguments and all the perspective of this woman, ladies and gentlemen, these members should be taken care. And we are proposing the strongest solution to this problem already. So please consider, consider it, ladies and gentlemen. We should not give them any rights to choose whether to have castration or not. We should perform it right away. Thank you.